Hello and welcome to this Dr. Osmas key skill video on calculating a further bound for a formula given a division. Now I'm going to assume in this video you already know how to find the lower bound and upper bound of a measured quantity. So we've got this problem here, the area of a rectangle is 11.4 cm squared, correct to one decimal place. The width is 2.58 cm of this rectangle, correct to two decimal places. Determine the upper bound and lower bound of the length of the rectangle. Now let's firstly think, how would we find the length of a rectangle? Well, if we started with the area and we divided by the width, that would give us the length because width times length is area and therefore area divided by width is length. So let's write that down. The length of the rectangle is the area divided by the width. Now, somehow we need to use the bounds for this. So let's work out the lower and upper bound for each of these two quantities, the area and the width. So the area, we want the lower bound and the upper bound. And for the width, we want the lower bound. I'm using LB for lower bound, UB for upper bound. So the area was 11.4, correct to one decimal place. Now we would see in the other video how to find the upper bound and lower bound. So the lower bound would be 11.35 and the upper bound would be 11.45. Remember the quick way that works most of the time if you're rounding to decimal places or significant figures is you just reduce the last digit by one and stick a five on the end to get the lower bound and you stick a five on the end to get the upper bound. Um, what about the lower bound for the width? This is 2.58, so the lower bound, if we reduce the last digit by one and stick a five on the end, we get that. An upper bound, stick a five on the end, so we now have these quantities. Now, we want to get the upper bound and lower bound of the length of the rectangle, so using the area divided by the width. Now, if you think about it, if you want to get the smallest possible value of the length of the rectangle, what would we use for A and what would we use for W? Because for A, the area, we can use any value between the lower bound and upper bound, so any value between 11.35 and 11.45. And we can use any value we want for the width between these two numbers. So if you want to get a small number, the lower bound for the length, we would start with a small value and divide by a big value because small divided by big is going to give the smallest possible value. So therefore, we want to do a small value, the lower bound of the area, divided by the upper bound of the width because the bigger the number we divide by, the smaller with the number because the bigger the number we divide by, the smaller the number we end up with. So if we use these quantities here, the lower bound of area is 11.35 divided by the upper bound of width, which is 2.585, and we get 4.39. One, two, three decimal places. And what about the upper bound of the length? Well, if we start with a big number and divide by a small number, well, the smaller the number we divide by, the bigger the number we end up with. So we start big and divide by small to keep it big. So we want the upper bound of the area and the lower bound of the width. And we'll see what happens with this final result. So the upper bound here, 11.45, divided by the lower bound here, which is 2.575. And we get 4.447 to three decimal place. So therefore, what this means is that this is the biggest the length could possibly be of the rectangle, and this is the smallest it could be. And the length of the rectangle is gonna be anywhere between those two values.